Hello, and welcome to the Coronado Public Library's tutorial on databases. Today, we're going to discuss how to use one of our databases to do a research paper on a history subject. So if you have a paper that you need to write and you need to get sources for that paper, so you need to cite an encyclopedia or a book or a magazine or a primary source document, this is a great database to use. So to get started, we're going to go to coronadolibrary.org. And once you're here, you're going to scroll down to Teen Library. And then you're going to scroll down again to this tab, Study, College, and Career Guides. And you're going to click on the Secondary Schools Explora. So Explora is a database that has full text articles from hundreds of popular magazines, newspapers, primary source documents, and peer-reviewed journals. And we're going to talk about all of those different options here in a few minutes. So to click on that, when you're at home or at school, it's going to ask you for your Coronado Library card. So you enter that whole nice long number in there, and if you don't have a library card, go back to the Coronado Library webpage, and you should be able to fill out an application online, and we'll get you a card so that you can use all of these awesome databases to do all of your research for homework. All right, so now we're at the Explorer database, and you're going to see there's a couple different options. You can search for a phrase or whatever subject you're looking for. There is also a bunch of jumping off points for different subjects down here that you can click on. If you need to look at Chief Crowfoot, just click on him here, and it's going to bring you to a search on everything there. We're going to go ahead and go back. So we're going to go ahead and talk about how to search for what you're looking for. So pretend you have to write a paper on the Roanoke Colony. So we're going to go ahead, in order to do that, we're going to type in Roanoke Colony, and click our search button. So then it's going to bring us to every article that talks about the Roanoke Colony here in this database. There's going to be a couple different types of articles that are going to show up. So you can see over here where it says source types. This is going to tell you where that article comes from. As you can see, we have a lot of encyclopedias, many magazines, some news articles, books, and biographies. So on how you can tell which what each one is, is on the search bar here. It's going to give you the title here up at the top part. It's going to tell you what kind of article it is right here. So this one here is going to be a review, which means it is going to be a review of a book that talks about Roanoke. You can see here is the title of that book. However, Lori Glover wrote the article, and this is the, where this review appeared. It was in the Virginia Magazine of History and Biography. 2010 right here is when that article came out. Then it's also going to tell you what volume of the magazine it was, what issue, what pages it was found on, how long it was, etc. If you scroll down, you can see we had a, a periodical here, which means it's a magazine. You can see the title of the, of the article right here, the author, the name of the magazine, when the magazine came out, the volume, and the issue, and how many pages that magazine is. You can see down here it's going to give you the subjects as well and a brief um, summary of that article. You can see in both the review and in this periodical, there's an option to look at the HTML full text. So that's going to give you the entirety of that article. So you can look at it and read the entire thing here, or you can email it to yourself, or you can save it. And I'll show you how to do that right now. So we have our HTML full text. Click on that, and as you can see, if I scroll down, it's going to be everything from that article. So this is a five-page article, so it's a little longer. So we're going to scroll back up, and if I wanted to print it, you could print it right here. You can email it to yourself. You can save it onto your computer. You can also add it to a folder. So now it's saved in your folder up here, and you can look at it a little bit later and decide if you want to keep it or get rid of it or delete it out of your folder if it becomes not one you want to look at. To go back to your search result, you want to make sure you don't use the back button, but that you use instead this result list, because that's going to take you right back to your actual search. So we've talked about what a review is and what a periodical is. So we have another option here, which is a biography, which means it's a, it's a bio biographical book um, that talks about um, Explorer is here, so it's going to give you his name, how long, when it came out, how long it is, etc. All the subjects here. We also have a reference item here, which is going to be an encyclopedia. So then they'll tell you the edition, what year it came out, and a short little uh, description here. So that is how you use 
just to find a lot of information on different subjects. So you can search for almost anything in here and a lot of things are going to show up. So one thing we will quick talk about is there's a couple different things you can also look for on here that didn't show up in this search. So if we look up Thomas Jefferson, and for example, we're going to look for primary source documents. So what a primary source document is, is it's different than other documents because it means it's something that was either read or came from somebody who actually experienced the event. So it would be like a news article about the event that just happened, an interview with the person who was a part of something, a diary entry from somebody who was actually involved in an item. So if we're looking at Thomas Jefferson, we want to see exactly what primary source documents are available. So those are going to be probably things he wrote. And that means that he is the first source on it because it came from him. So we can see there's going to be 47 things that come up for him, but it's going to give us his opinion on the constitutionality of the bank, written by Thomas Jefferson, and it's his opinions on the constitutionality, and then it's going to give you a brief description and that full text of the article. So it's going to have a ton of different options in here for all of the different ones for him. Another option that we have in here is academic journals. So if you click on your academic journals as well, we're going to unclick primary source, we only see those. Academic journals mean that other professionals have reviewed the article that's in here and have decided that everything checks out and that it's a great source. So academic journals are something that was written by a professional, someone who has studied that field for a very long time, and then other people who are in that field have looked at it vetted the results and said, yep, this makes sense, this is great, so it's a really good source to use. Not every subject is going to have peer-reviewed articles or academic journals available to you, but it's always a great place to start if you need a little bit more in-depth information. All right, you guys, well, if you have any questions, make sure you contact the library, and good luck with your studying. Have a great day.